Hi, Mark here again from PondAlgaeSolutions.com. And if you're here, you probably are having an issue with algae growth or some type of growth on the bottom of the pond. It starts on the bottom of the pond and then extends upward, possibly in a column, and it could spread out on the surface. If you're seeing this issue, that is an algae growth. And particularly when you see growth starting at the bottom or down low in the pond, that's very indicative of a highly uh, nutrient loaded base. In other words, there's probably muck or sludge down there that is made up of decomposing organic matter and it's just like compost in your garden. When that stuff decays, it releases nutrients and it will feed whatever plant cells are, are in the neighborhood. Algae will pull its nutritional support from the water itself. You may also find aquatic weeds, rooted aquatic weeds, that are able to get a root hold in this soft, rich, mucky bottom. And you can find uh, improvement in all of these conditions by simply reducing that muck load. Now, dredging in a larger pond is an option. It's usually very expensive. Uh, in a smaller pond, you can normally clean this up with a pond vacuum or a manual clean out and starting over, uh, which a lot of people may do seasonally. But we also like to use a concentrated beneficial bacteria that's in pellet form. And because it's pelletized, we can broadcast it over the surface and it will sink down into that muck and begin to break it down into harmless substances. In effect, it will work to try to outcompete the algae for the nutrients that are being released and also break down this organic matter. And as it does, the nutrient load continues to drop, the pond gets cleaner, it becomes um, certainly less nutrient dense and the algae simply doesn't have the raw materials that it needs to bloom out. We may also combine this uh, pelletized bacteria with a, a pond-wide bacteria cleaner too and those work very well to help with other additional growths that you might find throughout the pond whether they be at the surface or whatever. But just know that if you see heavy growth at the bottom of the pond then one of your thir first thoughts should be, I may have an organic load at the bottom that I need to take care of. Beneficial bacteria or a full clean out is the best way to do that. And when you clean those things up, the pond usually will improve on its own. So if you have any additional questions or something we didn't cover here and you need more help, please contact us through the Contact Us link lower down on this page. Uh, you can also leave your questions in the comment section of this, uh, of this page right at the bottom. We'll answer the questions right here and uh, provide a good resource for other pond owners that may check us out in the future too. So thanks for stopping by and good luck with your pond.